Well, we made it to Barstow last night. Uh, it's a good 650 mile day. Uh, but, I may have made mention of this in the video that I posted yesterday, but uh, uh, I've been having a little bit of an issue, just a little bit, uh, getting the truck to downshift in the fifth gear without grinding, and now it's starting to, every once in a while, a little scratch going into other gears, so when I get home, the end of this uh, month, I'm actually going to be pulling the trans out and go ahead and get the synchros rebuilt. I mean, that trans has got 305,000 miles on it, and before I bought the truck, uh, it was used in Louisiana at a uh, feed store, and uh, it pulled a big old gooseneck delivering uh, feed all over the place, so there's really no telling how wore out that transmission has been. I mean, I put a hundred and... 203,000 miles on it uh, but there's another issue that's probably a, I would say it's a little more concerning uh, if you see that that's engine oil and it's all up side of the trailer right there basically I got it down the whole side of the trailer the leak at the back of the motor that it at one point was very small has now started to become a uh, an issue where it's not worth risking the engine anymore so uh, when we get home we're gonna pull the cab off the truck and uh, I'll get the GoPro set up and I'll try to do a time lapse of that. But we're going to pull the cab off. We're going to pull the trans out. And then we're going to do a bunch of little things around the engine. But one of the things is pulling the motor plate off the back of the motor. Pulling the rear uh, housing off. And probably going ahead and doing the oil tan while I'm at it. Just resealing everything. Uh, but real quick respect for this dude he's got a single cab long bed F250 I'm not even sure it's diesel let's see let's look at the exhaust pipe yeah I think this is a gasser I'm gonna ask this guy later and see if it's a 7.3 truck the new 7.3 gas motor. That's going to be interesting. Uh, I don't know how this dude's getting along in this little single cab truck, but respect. Because clearly he didn't want to buy himself an $80,000 diesel. So he's doing it with the truck he's got. Can't, you know, can't shame that at all. Uh, here's a little bit better view hopefully of what's going on look at all of that it's all downside of the trailer so clearly my uh my truck needs a little bit of help yeah okay, look at this the other screw fell out yesterday i'm coming back here and running that back down every time i get stopped so just a screw I don't think they're gonna mess with me too much about that but uh yeah so we got some shop videos coming in and hopefully y'all like that cuz I know uh, Steve Miller had his truck get messed up and he spent a month and a half at the house and I know his views dropped off pretty hard but uh, I'll do my best to make that interesting to watch um, I might try to do a few other things. I might pull the 12 valve around and pull the rear end out of it and go ahead and get it done. I got some axles and transmission for a uh, 79 CJ5 Jeep. I got to drop off at the shop while I'm getting the transmission rebuilt. So we're just going to go ahead and get everything done at once. So, but I'm going to get off here. Uh, I'm going to spend the rest of the day here in Barstow. It's Sunday and 
we're not supposed to deliver uh, at uh, Poverty's RV in Fresno on Sundays unless we're, you know, explicitly given com uh, permission to do that. So, yeah, we're gonna chill out for the rest of the day, I guess. Yeah, nothing else to do. So, I'll see y'all later. If I uh, can find the pictures, I might actually add them to the end of this video of my 12 valve. Now, on my very first video, it's called uh, 12 valve hot shot build. You'll see my silver 12 valve that I had built from essentially the ground up to do hot shot work. Well, that truck got totaled, as I had mentioned earlier, and uh, I did reframe the truck. I traded a P pump that I had lying around for a frame. And when we had that big winter storm come through last winter and all our, our air compressor was locked up, all of my electric tools stopped working, we broke out the hand tools, my father-in-law and I, and we frame swapped the truck and following week I went out to the junkyard and got doors, a tailgate, uh, found a bed on Facebook Marketplace and the guy actually traded me straight for my old flatbed for his really straight dually bed that was the same color as my truck even the dually fenders aren't even jacked up so I think I got I think I got the good end of that deal uh, but the only thing that hasn't been gone through on that truck is the rear end which I'll probably like I said a minute ago we'll probably go ahead and get that taken care of um, I did manage to break the accelerator rod last time I was home and I ordered a new one and I was out hot rodding the truck around you know like you shouldn't do and uh i grabbed a couple of zip ties and looped them together to make a uh to make that uh connection with the linkage and it worked got me home i've actually drove it around a couple times since then i don't recommend it but it works uh that's not roadkill i don't know what is uh but yeah uh i'll see if i can get those pictures and i'll I'll stitch them together and I'll get them thrown up. So I'll catch y'all later. Uh, hopefully, I get me a load first thing tomorrow morning, and we're back on. We're you know we're back on the road headed to Texas. So I'll catch y'all later.